Well, contrary to popular belief, the mullet did not originate in the 1980s. Oh no, my friends, it dates back to ancient Greece. You see, the Greeks were known for their love of beauty and fashion, and they were quite fond of the mullet. But they didn't call it a mullet, no sir. They referred to it as charakton, which roughly translates to the hair of death. In ancient Greece, hairstyles were a form of self-expression and a symbol of status. Men would often choose elaborate designs for their hair, and some even wore wigs made from human hair. In that era, it was also called the Heraclean Cut, named after the legendary Greek hero Heracles. Greetings, fellow internet dwellers, and welcome to my channel where we explore the unknown and unexpected. Let's talk about Greek hairstyles, the mullet's ancient Greek origins, and let me tell you, you have no idea what we're about to uncover. Why, you may ask? Because it was believed that wearing a mullet would make you so attractive that you would literally cause people to die from sheer admiration. I mean, can you blame them? Have you seen Billy Ray Cyrus in his prime? It's a dangerous level of hotness. But the Greeks didn't just stop at wearing the mullet for its aesthetic appeal. They believed that the hair at the back of the head contained special powers that could be harnessed for various purposes. For example, it was said that if a warrior wore a mullet into battle, their opponents would be so distracted by its beauty that they would be easily defeated. On the other hand, if a philosopher or scholar wore a mullet while giving a speech, their words would be imbued with a persuasive power that could sway even the most stubborn of minds. It's like the ancient Greek version of a power tie. According to ancient Greek myths, Heracles had long hair that flowed behind him as he performed heroic deeds. This hairstyle became associated with strength, courage, and masculinity. The Heraclean cut was characterized by short hair on the top and sides of the head, with longer hair in the back that was left to flow freely. It was a practical hairstyle for warriors, as it kept hair out of the face during battle. Over time, the Heraclean cut became associated with a wider range of men, from athletes to philosophers. It remained popular for centuries, even after the decline of ancient Greece. The style eventually spread to other cultures, such as the Roman Empire and the Byzantine Empire. The popularity of the mullet declined during the Byzantine period, as the Eastern Roman Empire adopted more conservative hairstyles. However, the mullet made a resurgence during the Renaissance period in Europe, as artists and writers looked to ancient Greece and Rome for inspiration. In modern times, the mullet has become known as a controversial and often ridiculed hairstyle. However, it remains popular among certain subcultures and has even been embraced by celebrities such as David Bowie, Michael Bolton, and Hulk Hogan. In conclusion, the mullet's ancient Greek origins can be traced back to the Heraclean cut, a practical and stylish hairstyle that symbolized strength and courage. Although the style fell out of favor in ancient Greece and during the Byzantine period, it has continued to inspire fashion trends throughout history. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and explore the fascinating history of the mullet's ancient Greek origins. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more unique and entertaining videos like this one, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our community of curious minds.